I hope. <laughs> Move over, kids. How are you tonight? I, Devin and I just had like a three-minute conversation because we thought we were live. But uh, now we are definitely live. So one of these days, I'm going to figure it out. So it's just going to be Devin and I today. Um, and uh, I made a joke that David has joined the dark side. He went and he's watching Star Wars tonight. And Devin, you said you're all caught up on Star Wars? Yeah, all, all the like live action stuff that yeah, all the movies and Mandalorian as of now I'm caught up on. I have yet to see Mandalorian. I'm this close, this close Ooh. to getting to getting uh uh Spencer holy sup man. Um I'm this close to getting it cuz I got to see DuckTales and The Mandalorian are my two are my two uh must see shows. Uh, what about yeah, you? I, I want to watch the new Ducktales. I haven't had the chance to. <laughs> Ducktales, woo! I can do. You, can you? Do you remember the song? Very like what you just said. That's about it. I that's about it. it. Oh man, it's, Disney had the so best theme watched. songs. <laughs> the best theme songs. You know, uh, sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these <laughs> two gum shoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. When when these two get involved, chip 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 and Dale. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that that brought it back. Okay, oh, man. I'm glad that people actually caught that. <laughs> and what's up, Raquel and Jr. Magician? What is up, Raquel? How are you tonight, Raquel? Give us a topic, Raquel, and and let us know um, what is going on. Steve is not on the podcast. Steve does come by a lot, though. He is a friend of the channel, the Steve Saints. And um, JR Magician, uh, we are we are taking questions today. Devin, I told Devin, come up with a topic because I, I had nothing. And then Devin's like, I have nothing either. So we're just we're just going to wing it. Merry Christmas, fish fan. And Merry Christmas, uh, Spence Catron. Do they have Christmas in Great Britain? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know they do. Um, yeah, Copa sucks. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, so the new DuckTales is is what I um, what I want to see. I heard it's like very much in line with the old DuckTales, except for the animation. But the animation isn't like... Have you seen the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by chance? Uh, isn't there a lot of different ones? There is, but there's a version that just came out, and the animation is just awful, just absolutely I awful. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't. And like and the the problem is there was one like a couple years back. It's surprising they rebooted it because the one um a little little way back was just was perfect. It was the perfect Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it was just weird. Um. Uh, da, da. oh yeah, Smitch. You guys want to talk about? Let's talk about Smitch. Have you seen this? The new Nincania Smitch. What? What is that? There is this. It's so epic, dude. It is an epic, uh, um, Nintendo Switch knockoff. And what they did was they just took the W and they put it upside down, and it's a Smitch. <laughs> it's so. Dumb. It comes. It has 500 games on it. It's one of those things you would see at a flea market. Wow. Anime Renee, what is up? Anime Renee, we're taking questions. So if you have anything you want to talk about, just uh, throw it out there. Um, but yeah, be careful when you're buying the Nintendo Switch this holiday season because there's a ripoff Switch out there that it is. It looks it looks legit too. If you're not careful, you could like buy it. But, you know, because it's all counterfeit, it's just, it's just hilarious. YouTubers are, like, kind of, it's slow news, so YouTubers are, like, picking up on it. Let's uh, see. Raquel. JR, uh, in answer to that question, I probably will be doing a live stream of Mario Maker. I need to jump on some of them. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, we gotta do this. Mario Makers are great for live streaming. Um, especially you. I like when you get frustrated. <laughs> that's I'm when not good at Mario level. <laughs> that's when I feel that your true devidness comes out. The the true <laughs> all of devidness. Uh let's see. <laughs> Raquel said, I'm doing very well. First thing is first. I'd totally pay for a ticket if you had your own concert. <laughs> yes, well, I can do DuckTales too. Um I saw how I saw how the topic tonight might be about Animal Crossing. I'd like to know more about it. All right. Well, Animal Crossing, um, we can do that. And King Pac-Man, what's up? What's up? And question, any live streams coming up? Mario Maker, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, for, for live streams of gameplay, I would suggest going to Devin's channel. He's been doing, or he's been considering doing them more so than, uh, than me at the moment. Uh, Christmas is very busy for me. Um, not that it's busy. It's busy for everybody. Uh, but um, I would go to Devin's channel, Rap Boy Collectibles, just... I don't know, Devin, throw, throw your link up if you can and uh, check that out. And and as for um, Raquel buying a ticket to my um, my couch, I can do DuckTales. Let me see what I can remember DuckTales. This is all off the top of my head, folks. Um, dun, 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 Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. DuckTales, woo! Yeah, huh? How about that, Devin? <laughs> I, that's more than I can remember. <laughs> and then okay. there's, I, um, what is it? Like, uh, d -d 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 danger right behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What to do? Just grab onto some ducktails. I swear to you, I do not even have Disney Plus. I just remember. I just remember. What am I wearing, Steve? This is, well, who? I'll tell you mine, and then Devin, you can tell. It's probably yours. Mine is a Warcraft. I, I don't play Warcraft, but this hoodie was on sale for five bucks. So I was like, yeah, buddy. How about you, Devin? What are you wearing? Uh, the <laughs> Spike the Dragon hoodie <laughs> from Sp My Little Pony. <laughs> Spike the Dragon from My Little Pony. And uh, Raquel doesn't know which is better, um, me singing or the food porn. But that oh. was amazing. Well, let's, you know, <laughs> here, let's, we can do a little of both for this. Because here, I got some chocolate from, let's see. I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Italian milk chocolate. But, <laughs> so, Raquel, you tell me which is better. Oh my god. <laughs> Just turn into <laughs> ASMR quick. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> let's talk let's talk Animal Crossing. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> what what is the first Animal Crossing game you played? The uh, the first one on the GameCube. Did you know there was an Animal Crossing on the N sixty four? Well, yeah, I, I actually forgot about that. I do know about that, but the first one I physically played was the GameCube. Yeah, same same here. Um, America did not get the N64 one. Now my mouth is all watery. I'm trying not to drool because I, <laughs> cause I got that chocolate, you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, okay, so it's official. Raquel loves the uh, the food porn. It's the food porn. Okay. I can say that now because this this channel is not for kids. Just so you guys know, if you're 13 or 13 and younger, get out of here. And that's just there's no other way to put it. Just leave. Um, everybody else stay though. Got Pokemon Tournament DX for the kiddos. Also, that's a good buy right there, Renee. That's a good buy. That's a fighting game. Very underrated. Oh but yeah, it's definitely a fun game. I'm just horrible at it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely an underrated. I th I think it's just because it a uh, Smash Brothers that it it kind of flies under the radar. Nintendo, oh, yeah. same with Arms. Arms was a decent game, but anything Arms is a fantastic game. Yeah, I, I don't know why that got so much flack. 
anything may, except for maybe punch out punch out gets its love but almost anything is um is that's not that's not smash brothers if it's by nintendo it just gets pushed under the radar so uh yeah. so pokemon poke in tournament dx is a great game um, there is downloadable content though. That kind of made me mad. It's like if you're gonna DX it or make it the special edition or make it the ultimate edition, don't add downloadable content. So that's oh. that's the only thing that's with me. Nothing nothing too big though. True. <laughs> All right, Devin, back to Animal Crossing. Okay, so you played it on the GameCube. Mm -hmm. What do what do you what do you most fondly remember about it? What what is the reason that Devin wants to play? Twenty seven year old Devin. Are you twenty seven? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Don't yeah. worry. I'm I'm older than that. <laughs> Let's not get into age here. Um. What? So tell me a, a a memory. Well, the memories that I love about that game so much is number one the NES library that was within the game. Because I remember building up my house to have like a game room, so I had all the NES cartridges all over the all over the <laughs> floor. And um, uh, when I think it was Game Informer, I think back one of those magazines had the codes that you could enter into the game for like Mario style uh, housing stuff, like chairs, wallpaper, stuff like that. And I was so excited to be able to get that. And the other thing is the weird stuff that would happen at different times of the night. Like, you'd be able to find ghosts at, like, 3 in the morning and stuff like that. You I know, I, that I wish I would have, like, I don't, I didn't know that about, like, the ghosts and stuff. So, like, I was, like, I'd just go to bed, you know. <laughs> and, <Yeah. laughs> uh, and I remember, I also loved those commercials that they had back in the day because it was, like, they had, like, those live-action people in, like, those big, bulky costume oh yeah and they'd like be trading they'd be like here's a fish <laughs> yeah, basically and it also harkens back to like the commercial for smash bros the first one how they're all skipping in that meadow so happy together i love that commercial steve <laughs> steve and um spence they're like you know screw the villager they don't want the villager and they want to be the actual animals if you could be if you could be any animal what would you be like you get to decide. I don't know. I number one, let me start off by saying I like the fact that you're a human in an animal town. I've always found that very weird. But so you like that, to, or you don't, or you just find I, it. Weird. I like it. I th I think it's weird and funny, and I like the fact that you're like the only human in an animal town. <laughs> I, I've always thought that was weird. And if I had picked one i don't know like maybe a, one of the lion characters a lion okay yeah why why what why devin the lion here folks mm -mm, no real reason that's just the first one i thought of everyone uh, in the chat put your animal if you could be any animal steve uh the monkey <laughs> steve santos does not want to be the villager he wants to be an animal so what animal would you be if i could be any animal I'd be the honey badger. I'd be a honey badger. <laughs> honey, honey badger don't care, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because honey badger don't care. I'd be like, I'd be like one of the mean ones, the grumpy ones. Like that's always like got that little scribble above his head. Like, oh, I'm so mad right now. Devin the lion has my NES cartridge. <laughs> Go get it back from him, and I'll give you this. What are those fire hydrant thingies? What I like, I, uh, I, mean, I forget. Oh my! Okay, I have to look that up now. Something oid. Uh, I can't remember. Is it a gyroid? Gyroid. Yeah, it was something gyroid. Something like that. There was different versions. There was really tall ones, and then like the little short, stubby ones. Yeah, like what were those? <laughs> I know gyroid is one of the names. I know that for a fact. I it, let's throw that out to the chat and see. Now, I like JR's uh, thing here. Since I finally started playing Goose Game, oh, I like yeah. Goose in everything. <laughs> Man, that Goose. That Goose. It's no longer a Nintendo exclusive. It's on Xbox even now. Yeah, it's on the PS4, too. I'm glad. Um, I like that it's spreading out. It's a fun game. It's it's an, uh, honestly a solid fun game. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's, and it's a little short, but it's like... 
if it ever went on sale, but it doesn't need to go on sale because it's selling. And I'm happy with the the twenty bucks I spent on it. No, I spent fifteen. It was on sale like for the first week, um, but it was a uh, it was a uh, good it was a good game. And I'm happy it's on other other systems for the pure fact that when I, like I say all the time, um, I. You know, let's let's get it on the Nintendo system as well. You know, choices, choices, choices. Um, but it was nice to have a, a really cool exclusive. But whatever, Steve yeah. would be a rat. You know what? I've never seen a rat. Have you? Are there mice? I don't think there's. Um, I think there is actually. Is there mice? But that's also another thing that I used to love about Animal Crossing. A lot of people. I think I mentioned this on a past show too that there was a cat named Blanca that would meet you on the train and you could actually draw her face on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was like a rare thing that she wouldn't show up all the time. That's so weird. Like, could you imagine just I'm a faceless person and you walk up to a stranger and ask them to draw you? Like, yeah. I want you to, I want you to, like, that's like something out of a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is. Somebody cool. ever comes, someone ever, if someone ever without a face walks up to me and asks me to draw their face, I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to run the other way now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Definitely. Raquel, what about you? Raquel out there, who are you going to be? If you're still, if you're still watching. What if a sequel to un Untitled Goose Game, Untitled Goose Crossing. <laughs> Untitled Goose Crossing, yeah. I don't think there'll ever be... There's probably going to be a flood of untitled games, and then it's going to be like, no one will, no one can touch that untitled anymore because it, you will always think of untitled Goose Game. Everyone's yeah. going to try to... Fl there'll be a flood of wacky, zany... Well, I guess there was already a goat simulator, but for some somehow, some way, they, that goose was able to, like, ascend the, the goat simulator... Riley, what is up? How are you, Riley? We're asking the question, if you could be an animal, not the villager, if you could be the animal in an Animal Crossing, what animal would you be? And as, as while he's answering that question, a while ago on one of my videos, he ma he brought up something. Now I'm, I want to mention it while he's still here. Okay. That I should play the super mario world music in the background of all of my videos and i found a way that i can do it even in my car <laughs> uh oh uh oh there it is <laughs> the um it's the soundtrack from the mario all-stars game for the week boop, boop, boop. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. i wish uh, i could like... get that out <laughs> all right so devin devin's gonna take your advice uh riley and and um and play the the music how do you like the headphones the headphones these are garbage headphones they're zelda headphones but if you ever see them people don't buy them they're not worth it um do they sound bad uh, it, it's actually like i can i only get it coming out of one ear oh that's and funny. when i plug it in it doesn't like i have to like have it half plugged in half unplugged Destiny Little in the house. Destiny, we're asking the question, what Animal Crossing animal, not villager, animal would you be? So what animal would Destiny be? Riley says he would be a penguin. That's a good choice. Wasn't there a penguin that also came out, like, very rarely, like, something? I don't know, but there was, like, the one of the shopkeepers, Crazy Red. He would only show up every once in a while. There at night, there was like this um, gypsy lady that would show up too. Oh, I remember her. That's another. That's just one of those. Like back to what we were saying, it's just a big thing why I like Animal Crossing so much because depending on what time, you never know what's going to show up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I hope the amiibos have some kind of major like implementations. I really hope they do. Like, look at when Breath of the Wild came out. Amiibos were kind of starting to putter out. And then all of a sudden, they were like, oh, we need to get all the Zelda Amiibos again. So then it shot Amiibos back up. So I hope they do something like that where they actually have like a, a legitimate thing to do in the game. Yeah, that would be sweet. I don't care what it is, but like, you know, what? oh, man, million dollar idea. It will never happen. Never happen in a million years. But what if 
every amiibo had a Nintendo game attached to it. Huh? Okay, like, elaborate. I think like, I know where you're going. Like, just like the GameCube. It, you could have your own, like, you could have Balloon Fighter. You could have um, Zelda. You could have... That would never happen because of the virtual console, but maybe maybe a poster or something. Yeah, like, I could see that because um, if, that if you were to, like, scan it and then it gives you a download code for, like, the NES game or something, that, that would be kind of cool, actually. That would, make, that would make Amiibos, like, rare again. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think they would actually get a lot more collectible at that point. <laughs> JR has never played um, New Leaf. You might as well wait at this point. It's New Leaf is like New Leaf is probably the definitive, um, the, the definitive Animal Crossing game. Even though my favorite is the GameCube one, but I would say you uh, at this point, this late in in the life of Animal Crossing, you might as well just wait to March, March twenty twenty. Yeah. Definitely. I'm still so hyped about, like, um, I, it said 2020 on the trailer, but the new No More Heroes. <laughs> is, is, when is new more, No More Heroes coming? It just said 2020 on the trailer for the Game Awards. That was it. Okay, okay, it, so. It paired with that weird trailer they had going on. Man, so No More Heroes is just a weird game all around. Oh, yeah, it, is. it is. I'm not even doubting that. It is. <laughs> I'm surprised that they're getting a third one. I thought after the uh, after no news on that Travis strikes back that I thought I thought the No More Hero series was dead. Now, I didn't think it was dead. I thought because I, maybe it's just because I was a No More Heroes fan and I still actually like Travis Strikes Back. I'm just kind of stuck in the game, so that's why I kind of dropped it for a little bit. It is not the most perfect game in the world. I'll give it that, but I don't think it got the love that it should have gotten. Really? Yeah, it definitely didn't. And I'm, it was. It also came out at a time when a lot of YouTubers were like desperate for something, and so they kind of latched onto it, hoping it was like the the big triple triple A game of January. And so like it got a lot of heat, and I think it was undeserved heat because people were just like being dumb about it. And Destiny uh, ended up mentioning that her animal would either be the cheetah or the bunny. <laughs> cheetah, ooh, that would be that'd be good. Cheetah or the bunny, and um, I don't know if there is any cheetah characters in Animal Crossing now. That fish, I think of it. yeah, I don't think there is. So I'd go cheetah if you could. And uh, De yeah. and Raquel actually said she'd be a lion with you, so you guys could be like like partners in crime, like you know, have a shop <laughs> since you're yeah. both lions. Uh, like, I can't remember the two characters that Llama and the little porcupine, I forget their names. Mabel. The shop. Mabel is one of them. Yeah, Mabel's one of them. I can't remember the others. Fish fan says he can't really answer the question because he's never played Animal Crossing. Okay, well, Fish fan, what, if you could be another animal just in real life, what would you be? <laughs> well, and yeah, Fish fan, this is a good time to pick it up. I mean, this yeah. is probably going to be the new definitive. Oh, yeah. The Switch seems to get the ultimate of everything. The... I'm just can't, I can't wait to see this whole thing because it seems like instead of being like on a landlocked piece of land, it's going to be on an island, or at least it looks like it. Yeah, and that I'm 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 envisioning like something kind of like Wind Waker where you can get on a boat and travel to somebody else's island. I that would be, be so cool. sweet. I I mean I know they let you play eight. Eight people can play at one time somehow, some way, but yeah, um, I'm just I'm so excited for. I've gotten so many people to get switches lately. Raquel, my friend Noemi, uh, Destiny, a um, couple other of my friends get switches all over the place. <laughs> welcome to the, welcome to the club. Welcome to that club. Um, uh, Riley, he's asked me this question a couple times. Uh, I know I was not able to get the Celeste Collector's Edition. Um, it uh, came back out too on Fan Gamer, and I missed. Yeah, yeah, I missed it too. I was like, I was just like. Personally, I wouldn't, I have Celeste digitally on my console and I could just buy it at Best Buy if I really wanted the physical. I just want it because I like that strawberry plushie. I, yeah. I just think it looks cool. <laughs> it does. Yeah, so uh, thank you though um, for, for, um, for trying to give me the heads up on it. Just wasn't able to get it. Let's see, what else? We got, um, 
Animal Crossing had 500 Amiibos made for them. I would hope Nintendo would reward players who supported New Leaf, Happy Home Designer, and the Wii U game. (laughs) One of the things that, uh, because of me being such an Amiibo collector, if they re-release the Amiibo cards, I would finally be happy. Because I'm still dying to get that. Like, I completed Series 1, but I still need uh, 2, 3, 4... And five, which is the RV cards, and those are so hard to do. Oh yeah, and the and... RV cards, like some of them, go for like twenty bucks a piece. Really? That yeah. I did not know that. Um, you should like I... just that amiibo, that amiibo group that we're a part of. You should just like throw out a throw out some random. Hey, who has a amiibo cards let me see what you got Dude, yeah i got a stack of them extras because they started selling them at five and below they're not everywhere but some stores are got some stores have them so i got a, just a honking stack of them that are just are extras that i'm willing to trade so anybody out there that's got those amiibo cards hit me up on facebook <laughs> Hey, this is a good one. Uh, my boyfriend Raquel's uh, got one a switch too because he felt bad constantly hogging mine after Devin convinced me to get one. He, so I'm ha- so happy I got it. I forgot he did too. Yeah. So there's so that's I'm two for you. For six more switches, I think. Oh wow, you're 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 beating me then. Um, I'm responsible for. Let me think. Uh, my friend Hunter, he would have probably got one, but I think I got him to get it day one because of You're me. You're like, yeah, you can do all this. <laughs> and like, yeah. Ah, <laughs> so um, and then I know I got uh, my friend Christy. I, I got it for her kids, though. I, I made it. I was like, oh, yeah, they can play Fortnite on it. It would be the greatest <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. That's what, like uh, Raquel and Noemi. They both play Fortnite, and they play it on their Samsung Galaxy Note 9s, and they're like, like, just play it on a console. <laughs> It'll be better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so, and then I got another friend to buy it because I was like, oh, we can play Smash Brothers online. So, I'm at three. I'm at three. All right. Well, keep it up. Get Nintendo some love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nintendo's at, like, they've sold more than Xbox at this point. Um, they're... <laughs> Uh, not in- huh? Yeah, I was just go on with what you were saying. Not including um, since November, I think the Switch is at like 42 million in sales worldwide, which is like insane. Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, it's such a versatile system. I don't care what anybody says. I still remember when the first was the, when the Switch was first coming out. There's this uh, game shop that I uh, go to frequently or his, his, um, I don't know what's going on with him. His shop has been under renovation forever, but I was talking to him. It was like just in the cusp of oh, the Wii U still sucks and all that crap. How he's saying, Oh, well the switch is only going to have breath of the wild. That's pretty much it. Here we are 800 games later. Oh my whatever gosh. It is. I was D- looking at a picture of JP switch Mania's shelf for the switch games. It's just massive. <laughs> oh yeah, that dude JP Mania is like insane. If you guys don't know who JP Mania is and you are like all about Switch games, go and follow this guy. It's literally JP Mania and JP Switch Mania, I think. Uh, oh, JP he has Switch an Instagram, Mania. Uh YouTube channel, all that stuff. Also, me and William met the guy, sweet dude, very very down to earth guy. Yeah, I his Instagram, his Twitter, Instagram and Facebook like really he he doesn't he's not as quick as some of the other game sites um there's this guy wario 64 that will like drop like hey you know this is for sale or something but jp switch mania will like tell you about these switch games that you've never heard of like oh here's um cats and dogs uh european exclusive and <laughs> all this I- stuff I follow him on Instagram because of that. Yeah, he's got he posts up some weird stuff and like he gets a lot of his pickups from Best Buy and stuff like that. But yeah, like I was looking at his the the shelf picture that he posted, it's just insane amount of games. But that just gets back to what I was saying. It's just what what I was getting that the Switch has so much stuff. Yeah, hey it's Raquel like said much- Raquel said she did sw- she did delete on um her she only plays Fortnite now on on uh on the Switch. So, okay, good. 
Yeah. But yeah, the, the Switch has so much stuff. And I was saying during like the uh, Game Awards, they have those commercials for the Switch that says, like, you want games? We got games. And like it just goes through like a video reel of a bunch of random stuff. It just, I still think it's that shoving it in all these people's faces. They're like, do not say we don't have games again. <laughs> yeah, and that that stereotype or that stigma is still like it's still out there. It's somehow, some way. I mean, I get it. The Wii U was didn't have the games, but man, I'll tell you what, people just are unforgiving. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. The Switch has so many. I don't care if there's a bunch of ports. The ports are good. I sometimes think it's just like a interesting, more interesting thing. Like to be able to take The Witcher out in public is awesome instead of being tied to a console. Man, I you still got to play The Witcher. I'm like, I, I don't know if I can get into it. I, I'm just a. Uh, I need to play The Witcher. I really do. I own it. I got it like right uh, over the there. The Witcher TV show actually also came out on Netflix too. I forgot. It was like two days ago. Did you watch it? I watched the first no, episode. Not yet. Um, first episode? He looks really good as Geralt though. Like it's pretty accurate in my opinion. Oh, he looks awesome as the dude. The, um, it's the guy who played Superman in the latest one. Like uh, Henry. Henry Cavill, yeah. Yeah, Henry, Henry Cavill. Cavill. Now I'll say this about The Witcher on... Um, on netflix though it didn't captivate me i'm not like i haven't been like like Isn't the boys the ones where you have to get a couple episodes deep just to get into it and probably think? and they had so many weird names it was really confusing at first because they were it jumping like back you and probably forth. have to know a lot about the lore of the, the witcher games first Pro i bet it would help a lot but people, I read some reviews and they were saying, "Oh, you don't need the, you don't need to know it." But I think you do actually. But but I don't want to like give me like another week or two, and I'll I'll try to watch another episode or uh, to be able to give you a full review. Now, some people who have been saying they love it, they absolutely love it. But me, I haven't fallen in love with it. It's not like the boys, the boys, um, on the Amazon boys. Prime watched. <laughs> I know. I mention it all the time, dude. It's such a good uh, show. Have you seen I it? I watched the first episode of that because um, at my old job, one of the residents that I still talk to, he's like my friend. I went I went over to visit him one day, and we were watching the first episode. Just seeing that part with the fast, like the Flash guy, run through that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had the same reaction on my face that the character did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's only holding her hands and dude dude how have you not watched the rest i fell in love with that i don't show. have amazon prime I, oh gotcha I, gotcha i would i would love to watch it that's the only thing that kind of turns me off of being able to do that because there's so many streaming services and all this stuff i was lucky i picked up uh, disney plus yeah that's what i'm about to cancel hulu and and go with disney plus i have too many i i cut i cut the cord to save money but now i have all these streaming services hulu yeah, netflix I Amazon. I had hulu live and i had to cut that down because like i yeah i liked having hulu live but it was just so much money yeah. and um the other thing i wanted to bring up i didn't I, I don't think we brought this up the other day did you see anything about the new xbox like what's oh yeah, we gotta that? talk about the Xbox. Give me one second. Let me catch up with the chat real quick. Hello, EPS five thousand. Um, I really wanted to watch that on Netflix. It's on my list. Yeah, Destiny. Uh, I would say Witcher three. Um, uh, one episode in, I'm not like really impressed, but I think I think by episode three I'll be invested. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, Ken, we need to write a song. Ooh, buddy, about Copa. <laughs> <laughs> Copa oh Caban Copa Copa Cabana and um there is a season 2 of the boys coming it's going to it wrapped up filming hopefully it'll be it'll be um out by June my boyfriend watched the first two episodes and loves it so far and now wants to get the game I'm going to start watching it tonight while I'm at work okay so so Raquel's boyfriend recommends it FYI Netflix original the dragon prince yes Renee oh my gosh anime Renee you are yes I've watched all three seasons of of the dragon prince and that is awesome it's it's like an American anime Devin, you should watch it. It's so good. It is so I, good. I've seen it show up on my list. I just never gave it a chance yet. Give, give it a chance. I am 100% on board with Renee 
with Anime Renee. Um, Spence buys DVDs. I was surprised by the last episode. It was a pretty good twist. Uh, da, 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 da. And yeah, that was a great twist with the boys. Um, and Raquel, ooh, I've really been into anime shows lately, so I'll give that one a shot to watch. Ren You're not going to regret it, Raquel. Um, Dragon Prince, I cannot recommend it highly enough. And it's really weird because even the bad guys in the show have like personality and I'm talking like funny fun personality not like the Joker you know where you're supposed to like he's all demented it's like they're they're human they have human traits that they don't like I don't know you just gotta watch it it's just such a good show uh the Dragon Prince anybody here watch Bo Jack Horseman I heard it's on the last season you ever watched Bo Jack no, I know of it. It's just it's the same thing. Like I, you mentioned uh, Bob's Burgers before. I can understand how people like it, but it's something about the animation that just bothers me, and I just I can't really get into it. I I hear you. I hear you. I almost <laughs> didn't watch Bob's Burgers because of the animation, but my wife. Well, I love on. the the guy who voices Bob. He is so funny. He uh, he's in that Archer TV show. I love Archer. Yeah, but it's just something about the animation of Bob's Burgers that I just I can't get into, dude. When I saw Bob's Burgers first, and you know that's you know it's not it's PG thirteen, but uh, that I uh, like that I watched Archer. <laughs> I was like, whoa, Archer is like, ah, uh, it's definitely R. <laughs> so it's just, yeah, just Archer is a little risky, but it's a good show. But, but let's go um, back to the Xbox. Okay, so yeah, Xbox, um, what do you got for me? I I just, like, when me and David were watching that, we were thinking that it was, like, a game trailer. I don't know if you watched the trailer when they first, uh, like, officially revealed it. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was a game trailer until I was, we're seeing all this random stuff, and then Master Chief walks up, and we're like, what the heck? And I'm just baffled because it looks like the obelisk from 2021 space odyssey <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. i couldn't get over that and it just it seems like it's gonna be really tall <laughs> you know what i mean yeah you've seen the memes right yeah yeah i love the spongebob one he's like i must be the marble and it's stretches out I like that one. <laughs> um my favorite is just the 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 nice kitchen with it as a refrigerator <laughs> yeah. i don't i'm that's uh depending on how much like they actually release for it and like if they're gonna have a, like a nice lineup i probably will want it but they are essentially turning it into a pc it kind of is yeah i mean yeah like what are they what is Xbox trying to do with this? That's what I'm wondering. And even the name, you know, it, they're making the same mistake as the Wii U. Like, people are already, like, saying, okay, so is this an extension of the current Xbox or because it's Xbox Series X? Yeah, that I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do with that. But I have a feeling they're going to really be riding that Game Pass, like, hard. So, I don't know. It really it's kind of up in the air. Yeah, and it's just weird. And Google does Google and, and and Microsoft just they throw money at stuff. They just like here here's just a bunch of money. Amazon does it too, but they get it right it seems. Um, their streaming is hit or miss, but um, like Google Stadia, like that. From what I understand, and don't don't necessarily take my word for it because I'm not like I can't really. Um, I can't say what well, I've never played it, but from what I understand, the thing sucks, and yeah, it's just like it, it was like dead, dead on arrival. But then, um, and then then the Xbox, it's like, okay, we know you want to be PC gaming, but you got a console. Like, why are you like trying so hard to do this? It, I think this is going to be fine as long as they don't release the Xbox and say, hey. You can add this attachment to it, and you can add this to it. Then it's like, nope, dude, you're selling another PC. We're done. <laughs> yeah, you think you're going to be able to build your own uh, Xbox? <laughs> yeah, like, I have a feeling, like, that something like that might happen in the future, but we'll see. I don't know. But for me, I definitely think I want it just because I've been an Xbox fan for years, like, since the first one. But 
we'll see what happens. And also how much this the thing is. Yeah. I um, I'm kind of interested in the whole PS5 thing, though, because they had that Godfall game that they had a trailer for that, in my opinion, looked really cool. I don't know what it is, but it looked cool. <laughs> No, Amy, you're late. Yes, you are late. And you know what? But don't worry. Don't worry. You're you're late, but 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 we kept the we kept the microphone warm for you. The I question we we that she went wow, which makes me think of Wario. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go on. <laughs> I wanted to do I wanted to do a spoof. Actually, I have an idea for a video, but I need to be able to do Wario's voice or Waluigi's voice, and I can't. I don't even know if I got his laugh down, but uh, just uh, you, look up YouTube uh, video clips of him in the games. <laughs> oh no, I need I need um, like an impersonator because I want him to sing a song. Oh uh, well, true. I'm, that's a good point. Good point. I think you'll figure it out. Hey, keep at it, dude. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, I wanted to. Oh yeah. So the question that we asked for EPS and Noemi, what 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 animals would you be? If you were an Animal Crossing, not the villager, but animals. So make sure you say what animals. So anyways, the piece, the PS5, what were you saying about it? They premiered not the, well, I like how during the Game Awards, they had the whole, the console for the PS, uh, well, sorry, the Xbox Series X. But then the PS5 was like, here's a game. Mm -hmm. And we don't know anything about the console yet. They released this trailer for a game called Godfall. It looked interesting to say the very least i it, it seems like it might be going on like that way of diablo maybe it's got like the big knights and armors and stuff like that and they like they have this big dragon that they're looking at it just looks an interesting game no yeah, gameplay it's like more like a cinematic yeah the ps5 uh see you later riley <clears throat> the ps5 is gonna be insane um i'm surprised xbox you know, a lot of people for a minute there were like, you know, Nintendo should just get out of the console business and do software. In yeah. all honesty, I think Xbox should be the one that's um, that gets out of the console business and just does software. You know, just um, imagine putting Master Chief on the PS5. You know, it's like there would be so many purists that'd be freaking out. Oh my gosh, they would die. People would die. <laughs> Uh, That'd be. I, I do like the fact that I don't know if it was a rumor. I'm kind of interested to see if they do that. That if the PS5 would be running games on solid state drives instead of uh, discs. I don't know if you heard that too, but I think that would actually be kind of interesting in a way. I had not like heard the that. PlayStation would be going cartridges. <laughs> I have not heard that, but that would be like, that'd be crazy if they would cartridge. It would be crazy because like. Nintendo just, you know, Nintendo just went back to cartridges. It's weird how cartridges have become like so, like you can do so much on them now. Yeah, um, it's the technology got better because from the Super Nintendo and Nintendo sixty four, it kind of got eh. Then we went to discs, and now we're reverting back. It's just because the technology of cartridges are better. I mean, yeah, I wonder who like stayed in the game of cartridges. Like, no, I'm not giving up on this. We're gonna make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still interested. Uh, William's not here, but I want to see what's going to happen with the Amico too. I uh, I don't know if that was said to go cartridge or all digital. I can't remember what he said. I think the Amico, which is um, the Intellivision's like classic, uh, but new. It's weird. It's a weird um, system, but it's. Uh... Oh, there's going to be some new games on it. From what William was showing me, there it's going to be like revamped versions of the old games, and they're also going to have the old games there. Okay, okay. I and I know there's a exclusive Earthworm Jim also. Yeah, I'm very interested to see how that's gonna go. Man, I never liked Earthworm Jim, but you know what? I, I think he would be a good Smash Brothers character. Like, could I you imagine? Think so. Yeah, I think I, he would be actually a perfect one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All um, the moves that his um his, the worm thing could do. And uh, which we still got eighty number eighty still. I wonder when we're going to get that review. You think there's going to be a January direct? Yeah, I was watching a couple of videos uh, the other day, and like RGT specifically, he was saying, well, he put in oh, on his thumbnail uh, that, oh, there's going to be a January direct and him looking into a crystal ball, yada, whatever. But he, he what he was saying was kind of making sense that it, if you look at the past releases, every time they seem to do an indie direct, within a couple months, there's another normal direct. So. 
I'm thinking we're probably going to get one in January. Yeah, um, I I bet we get one in January, but I, but last year everybody was like January, 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 oh. and then it came out in February. So, um, so we'll probably get one soon. There will probably be one soon. Uh, you uh, know, the way I'm looking at it is, I think they definitely have to because if you look at, we have like Animal Crossing. Mm-hmm. No More Heroes, and to my knowledge, that's the only two, well, I mean, maybe not more, No More Heroes is big to me, but not other people, but two big things that are coming out. I think they're... Besides the indie. I think they're treating it kind of big. They gave it a lot of time at E3, um, and they made it a mystery, but then they also, uh, they also uh, gave it at the Nintendo Awards, um... Or not the, the Nintendo Awards, Awards yeah. the video game awards. So um, it definitely needs some more time. Nintendo believes in it. I'm just really hoping that because we have like our eight and number eighty character, and there's gonna be that whole set of other five that we got coming, that Travis gets into Smash. <laughs> that would be that would be my version of David with Banjo. I would love to see Travis get into Smash. <laughs> Uh, yeah, at this point he has he he has four games, so he has more than Bayonetta. So anybody can get in, in my opinion. Bayonetta yeah. allows almost anybody in. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like we were saying the other day with uh, what's his name, um, Piranha Plant. He oh, was Pir- the weird yeah. one. Piranha Plant uh, definitely the weirdest. Piranha Plant had to have, have Sakurai just giggling. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a good character, actually. I really like the way he handles. Yeah, I need to get back into uh, Smash Brothers. I haven't played it since, um, since uh, pretty much since Friday Night Smash or Sunday Night Smash got canceled. Um, oh, oh, I gotta say this. Um, next week we might not have a podcast. Um, I might be. Go- I live in Texas, but I'm from Michigan, and I might be uh, driving to Michigan next week. Okay, everything good. Oh yeah, everything's good. Just, uh, just a visit. So um, I don't know, Devin, if you're able, maybe you could do the podcast on on your channel. I will probably be able to do that. Actually, now that I figured out how to make the main PC work with the streaming stuff, maybe. If you <laughs> did the, if you um d- did. Try, try it out, and so next week, everyone. So make sure you're you're subscribed to Devin because next week the the podcast might be on his channel. I would give you. Yeah, my... I want to throw that out there while I'm here. I'm doing a giveaway of Switch games to get myself up to either 65. I was trying to do before Christmas, but whatever. It's getting too late now. End of the month by the be- uh, beginning of 2020. I'm giving away a Switch game if I can get myself up to 65 subscribers. All right, 65 subscribers. That's not that's not asking a lot, guys. Throw the guy a ball. Five more. Five more. Five more. No, no, Amy would be a cat. Okay, so she would be a cat. Um, and EPS. Oh, I didn't see what EPS said. Oh, he'd be a dog. Ooh, cats and dogs. Ruff, ruff. Ooh, and then we got Calf coming in. Calf, what animal would you be from Animal Crossing? Or it doesn't have to necessarily be from Animal Crossing. Like any animal in the world. I'm a honey badger, and I'm there definitely haven't been a honey badger. Um, so, anyways, guys, next week, if you don't see a stream, that's because I'm driving to Michigan, and um, I would just go and uh, watch it on. Devin's channel. I, we'll maybe I'll. Later. Yeah. So um, that's just that's just something I just remembered. We got about eight minutes left, man. Devin, this this show fly flew by. Mm-hmm. Um, we should we should kick the guys out more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what uh, what's the channel name? What's your channel name? Rat Boy Collectibles. Uh, link- oh wait. Okay. There we and go. And Fish yeah, Fan is asking you to link the channel. I tried sending the link into the chat and it's just, it, it was, I copy pasted it and I'm trying to put it in right now and it just, it disappears. Huh? I don't, well, I don't understand. Can you type your, can you just say, just say, um, click on my name. Um, okay. Yeah. Click on my name. All right. Go on. <laughs> okay. Cause, uh, that should then. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Honey Badger is my favorite gun in Call of Duty. <laughs> what? 
Honey Badger don't care. We just don't care. That's that's the thing. Don't care. If you guys have not, if you guys have not seen what I'm talking about, there's a YouTube video about a Honey Badger, and there's just Google Honey Badger on YouTube. It is absolutely hilarious. Um, don't have any kids around. It's um, you know f bombs left and right, but man, is it funny. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I'm gonna have to watch that again. It's it's been out it's been out for like five, six years, so it's like most people have um have already seen it. But if you don't know what the honey why honey badgers are so funny, you gotta watch it. There's this it's like some dude and he's just like, Honey Badger don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Devin, do you? I, I think I do, yeah. I, th- I think I saw that ages ago. I know. It's, like, so old. I'm dating myself. It's, like, the beginning of the internet. Uh, but yeah. it's so funny. You'd be dating yourself. You start suddenly start talking about Numa Numa. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, Unic- uh, Charlie the Unicorn. Talk about him. Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Candy Mountain, Charlie. <laughs> I, that, it's along the same lines, but I love um, llamas with hats. Llamas with hats. <laughs> uh, hey, fish fan, just sub to you. So I just noticed. Thank you very much. Four yeah, more I'm, subs. I'm gonna run a video. When I when I when I, I I'm gonna run a video that I'm gonna I figure what what I'm gonna do trivia of some sort and then have a comment down below on what game you want and if you answer the question right, we'll do it that way. I think I'm gonna figure it out. Raquel or Noemi, um, find the find um, uh, Rap Boy Collectibles in this chat, and then click on his name, and that will get you to him. He's like uh, like ten 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 questions up or something like that. Um, <laughs> oh, it's salad figures. <laughs> That's just funny. Salad figures, so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, man, good times, the internet. Man, eventually there's going to be a college classes on these things. You know that, right? There'll be college classes. Early days of the internet. I'm sure there already is. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, my gosh, we're old, dude. We're old. Yeah, yeah so, unfortunately. <laughs> all right, oh, five well. more minutes. Let's let's get back to Animal Crossing, I guess. Um, yeah. What... Uh, what uh, so that would be cool if you could be on the island and travel. Like even if it's just like to this to an island that even if it isn't someone else's island, but you could just travel there um to uh like travel to different islands, kind of like almost like downloadable content. Like yeah. they just we updated it, and now you go to a different island. And... I think they're going to do something like that, honestly. But I, I remember, like, if um, you had the Game Boy transfer cable and a Game Boy SP, you could hook it up to get uh, the um, Animal Crossing for the GameCube and tra- travel because of the Bird Gulliver, I think his name was, to an island. Da- well, actually, no, it was Cap'n. I forgot the turtle, the, the turtle character. Oh, yeah, he would yeah. Take you to another island. I, and be, but you would go over this like long stretch of water. In in my opinion, I think they'd be able to work that out where that would be the loading screen and like integrate it into finding somebody else's island. I that's just my idea. It would be so cool. Unfortunately, sometimes you, you got to give credit where credit's due. And if Animal Crossing was on the PlayStation, man, online would be so epic. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? online would be so epic it would be so crazy what we can do we there'd be a just a full-fledged mmo could you imagine uh mmo of uh of animal crossing i feel like it would get it would actually work out quite well dude i'd be beyond that i would hit too because like what i was saying where the things that would happen at like midnight or 3 a.m stuff Mm. like that (laughs) people would always be on that thing that would be so massive Back when YouTube was legit, before all the ads, yep, before all those ads. Yeah, I remember back when YouTube had no ads. Oh, my God. Man, I I kick myself. I see some of these, like, YouTubers now. They started only, like, when the Wii U came out. I could have, who knows, maybe I could have got, the Nintendo Switch really blew up a lot of YouTubers, like Beat'em-Ups and RGT85 and Dreamcast Guy and uh, and I, there's just a part of me that's like, man, if only I would have, if only I would have, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Can't look backwards, my friend, only forward. Very true. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I now thanks to these guys in here, I got up to 62, so thank you very much. 62, uh, three more. Tell your friends. Win a, yeah, win a Switch uh, game. The the games that I have giving away are Katamari Damacy Reroll, and a, they're both sealed, and a copy of uh, Travis Strikes Back. Ooh. I'm going to work it so one person gets the one game, and then the, the next person that answered right gets the other. Ooh, maybe I'll win then, because I need Katamari... Katamari Damasi still so um EPS says I remember when YouTube wasn't owned by Google yeah now that that is yeah YouTube what are you gonna the do golden days. the golden <laughs> days yeah they're behind us now there's Copa can't be you can't be eight years old and watch not that I'm like catering towards eight year olds, <laughs> yeah. but still, it's just weird. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. We uh, we're at our time limit for for eight o'clock. Do you got anything else you want to add, Devin? Mm, not at the moment. I think All I'm good. Right. <laughs> All right. So again, next week we might not have the scheduled. It might not be on this channel. It might be on Devin's channel. You guys just kind of like be subscribed to Devin's channel, and you'll know if it comes up or not. And if not, though, in two weeks I'll be back for sure, unless my plane okay. crashes. So you know. <laughs> no, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, but guys, it's been fun. You guys make it possible. Um, I love you guys. It's it's just really just. Uh, I look forward to Sunday nights because we can all just hang out. I loved uh, everybody, the cheetahs and the bunnies and the dogs and the cats. Who and I'm gonna be the honey badger. Don't forget to check that video out. But check it out without kids. And I think we all agreed that Dragon Age was the game to watch. Uh, or uh, the Netflix channel show to watch. Um, well, have a good night. Bye.